What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Hothix here. Welcome back today to Stardew Valley. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today it is Monday the 8th here on Ronald Farms and today we're going to be continuing on from where we left off last time. Of course in last episode we saw that there has been a new update to things. Kind of cool actually, kind of crazy. And uh, yeah, so what I'm kind of trying to do here is I'm slowly sort of trying to learn some of these new 1.3 features and for some reason all of my chests seem to have broken again. Really? Huh. Okay, so uh, yeah, as I'm kind of, uh, I'm sure you guys realized from like last episode as well, this update is kind of a weird one. So currently we're still playing on the, um, currently we're still playing on the 1.3 public beta. So it still technically hasn't actually released for the actual game. Um, but yeah, the problem is, is because this is an, ooh, what, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hang on. I'm trying to reset my chest again. Yeah, because this is not like a full public release and they are still slowly working on mod into, why can't I break this chest? Hey, hey, no, J James, oh. can I have any pickaxe downwards now? What the heck? That's so weird. Yeah, because it's still like technically kind of a, like a trial build and stuff. Um, a lot of my mods don't work, which is super, super annoying. I did actually manage to fix the automation mod, or at least I thought so. What if I do that? Have all of these items got taken now? They have. Okay, that's a really, really weird bug. So apparently every single day I have to reset my automation mod <laughs> in order to actually get it to work. Very, very strange. But yeah, how is everyone doing? I hope you are good. So today... We're going to be doing one of the new quests. Now, I've learned a little bit more about this, and we actually discovered this last episode. I was kind of curious as to what actually triggers it. And, uh, yeah, apparently, what it is, is that it's a community event. Now, unfortunately, there's only one. And I would have loved to have had more of these to do. I think it would give, like, an amazing set of content to the end game. Um, but, yeah, this is, like, the one community quest that's currently in the game anyway. And it is to make Pam a house. Of course, Pam is, like, the only one apart from Linus in this place that doesn't have a house. But Linus chooses to live that way. And I don't think Pam chooses to live in, like, a trailer. Um, so, yeah, the quest is really quite sweet, I think. It's to build Pam a house. However... What Pam doesn't realize is that there are literal fat stacks being being used to actually give her this house in the first place. So, I want to kind of try and do that today. I only need, I think, maybe just over 100 more wood. The good news is, is now that the seasons have changed, all of the wood is back, which is awesome news. Um, so there she is. There's Pam. There's my wife, Abigail. Where are you going? You're visiting your father, Pierre. Do you trust him? I know he's your father, but, hmm, his seed prices are extortionate. You know what I mean? Okay, so... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building Pam a house today. Now, I have been, like, trying to read up on a few new things. Apparently, yes, that Linus cutscene that we saw last episode, that was actually a new cutscene added. And I don't know how many new cutscenes currently there actually are. There's, like, no real information about it. Um, so it's kind of cool that we actually discovered something kind of, like, on our own, I guess, completely randomly. Um, but, yeah, I'm kind of, like, sort of following up leads and stuff and trying to work out what on earth is going on here. And there's nothing behind here. I, I've read somewhere that, like, there was a statue behind here. I see no statue. Very strange. Um, so, yeah, another thing that I've noticed is that they actually have this new system, which is kind of interesting. And it is a, uh, a magnifying glass, which you gain. You basically, like, there are these hidden notes all around town. Now, this is actually really, really cool. It's, I think it's more of something that I think it only triggers, though, in winter. That's the problem. So we are definitely going to be going up to winter, and we're going to be trying to check out some of those new things. Um, but yeah, the cool thing is, is that the notes that you can find, you can only find them with the magnifying glass. And what they do is there is a note for every single person in the town, and it actually tells you the things that they like. So obviously now, we've, we're quite established in this Let's Play. We've given lots of gifts to everyone, and of course we had a mod, which allowed us to actually see, uh, you know, what was going on or whatever. Apparently as well... I don't know how true this is. Apparently there's like a secret area here somewhere that you have to dig. I don't know where that is right now. I mean, obviously we've still got the wizard's quest which we have to do, but... Hmm. Do you see anything that looks suspicious? I don't. Very, very strange. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know too much about that one. Uh, maybe it's one of these rocks or something. No, I don't know. Yeah, so, like, things with this, I'm going to have to try and find out a little bit more about them. Obviously, because this only just came out and people are just starting to play it. Like, there's not that many things that have been discovered. But, um, yeah, so anyway, this magnifying glass thing, it's basically... It's like having a mod which shows you what people like. Now, we did have that mod. Uh, it doesn't work right now. 
Uh, but it's just a nice way of knowing what everyone likes. I think the thing is, the Wikipedia page says it anyway, and that's what most people use. Uh, but it's kind of cool that they're actually doing it in-game this time, which is kind of awesome. Oh, 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 diamond! Yeah! Okay, cool. So yeah, I think it's like you find these secret notes, and then so, for example, if it was Abigail's secret note, then it would say, you know, she likes, um, she likes pumpkin, she likes amethyst. If it was, like, you know, George's, he likes fried mushrooms, that kind of thing. So it sort of helps you. Uh, build up the relationships with people. I think that's a really, really nifty idea. Uh, but we're going to have to wait until winter to actually see that because we don't have the magnifying glass. Any hoozles. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to build Pam <laughs> a house. Because why the heck not, right? I mean, why why the heck not? So I'm going to go and chop down some wood. I also have my... Um, oh, yeah, and there's something else I want to see as well, uh, which I think is down in the sewers. So we will need to go down to the sewers at some point because, of course, we do still have the wizard's quest, uh, which I do want to do. That seems like kind of fun. And I've never done it before, so that's not something that's new, but um, I still want to give this a go. So anyway, um, how much wood do we need? I think what I'll do is, uh, should we just get a stack of 999? Yeah, we've got 909 now, so we need 999 from 909. Lots of nines. Let's do it. Okay, I just think one more tree will do it, and oh my goodness, yeah, another cool thing. So apparently as well, they also sell horse hats somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where they are. I mean, I'm guessing, my guess anyway, is that there is a hat house down here. Um, where is it? Hey, 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 where is it? Is it down here somewhere? Yeah, there's like a little weird hat house thing. Um, but yeah, another thing that I want to go and see is actually located in Marnie's. So... Uh, hopefully we'll have time, I don't know if we're going to have time today, but we'll just go, like, the next day, uh, and we'll go and have a little look, but, um, yeah, do you sell hat houses here? Hat houses? Horse hats, even! Are you the seller of horse hats? Uh, I don't know. Can we, what if we, um, what if we buy our horse a hat? What kind of hat would our horse like? Um, what about this lucky bow? Oh, my inventory's full. Um, okay, so what about if we just get rid of these pine cones? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a different shop. It probably might be, to be honest with you. But if we do this, and then we click on the horse. Hey! <laughs> oh, you're so pretty. Are you kidding? That's so cool. So yeah, now you can actually put your hat on your horse. Kind of random, to be honest with you. I mean, it's not exactly something you need to do, but I think that's quite nifty. Uh, okay, cool. Well, our horse now has this beautiful little bow. Very, very cute. I love it. Nice. Okay, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We have our wood now, and so we we basically need we need 950 wood, and we need um, 500,000 gold. That's a lot of gold, but I think the reason behind this is because this is the one community event that's currently available. I really hope they do more. Um, and you can only actually do it after you complete the community center. So, you know, it's kind of like your final thing that you can do after you do that community and I'm guessing that, obviously, if you pick the Jojo Mart route, which people tend not to really do, uh, you won't be able to build Pam a house at all. So, uh, yeah, I think it's kind of, like, quite a nice little thing. Uh, I, you know, I think the one thing about this game, it just needs more endgame content because there's so much to do. And then all of a sudden you get to, like, a point where you've done it all and you're like, oh, no, it's ended. Why? Um, but, yeah, that's really cool. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's, um, let's go to sleep. Oh, actually, this will be interesting. So if we go to sleep now, right? I have... Oh, I forgot to water my plant. Um, I'm just seeing if I can actually harvest this, because if I can, this is like some crazy, crazy OP system where you could just turn everything into like a greenhouse. But hey, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, all right, so let's go to sleep. Now, I want to see if my automation mod breaks overnight. I want to go and see. Because I don't think... I don't know. Is it every time I boot up the game? Or is it every time I sleep? I don't know. Let's see if we can find out. So, day nine of summer. And... Okay, the spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. How dare you? How dare you? Let's go and give, let's go and say hello to Abigail. Hey, to the mines. Hey, if you find something tasty, please remember to bring me a piece. Okay, Ah, have a little smooch. Um, have we got anything for her? Uh, what about, what does she like? She likes, I think she likes chocolate cake. She does, yes. <laughs> okay, can I give her another one? No, okay, okay. She can only have one full chocolate cake a day, apparently. Go and water this plant. Uh, right, so is it broken? No, it's fixed. Huh. So I think it must be every single time I close the game down and then, like, reopen it through Steam, that's when the automation mod breaks. Very weird, very weird. All right, never mind. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> oh. I thought you could use this in the drawer somewhere. Oh, Pam. All right, thanks. Thanks, Pam. Energy tonic. I mean, it's 
fairly useful, I suppose. Um, all right, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just go and sell some of these gubbins that we don't particularly need. Um, what are we going to get rid of? What are we going to get rid of? Crab cakes? Actually, they're pretty good, to be fair. There's so much rubbish in here. Well, actually, no. Most of these things are presents, but they kind of stack up and it makes things everything really untidy. All right, so I think what we need to do now is we need to go and wait for Robin to open. And uh, yeah, I suppose we should go and buy Pam a house. <laughs> because why not, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Just before we go and buy Pam a house, this was one of the other cool items that I saw. She's not working today. <laughs> why is no one ever working when I want to buy things, man? Are you kidding? Marnie, you're supposed to be my ten heart friend. How could you betray me like this? Hey, 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 you. Marnie. Yes, my nephew Shane has been staying at my place these last few months. Yes, okay, that's all well and good, but I wish to purchase from you. Ah, oh, unbelievable. You know what I'd really like to see? Like, on the outside of the buildings, maybe there's a mod for this, but just having, like, open and close signs. That would be amazing. That would solve so many issues. Um, and yeah, they don't have them. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, all right, fine. Well, in that case, I suppose we'll go and doze it. <laughs> no one's ever open. I mean, I've got Pierre, who is, who is basically, I call him Pierre the Swindler. And that's literally the first time I think I've ever called him that. But in my mind, ooh, I think about that all the time. Um, <laughs> you've got Pierre the Swindler. You've got Gunther, who likes to steal all of my most precious shinies. You've got... Marnie, who's never open. You've got Robin, who's never open. You've got a weird cat in a shack that sells hats for the horses. Robin's not open either. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> Robin? Well, are, are you kidding? Are you... Are you is, don't, don't walk away from me. I swear if you walk, if you walk off the screen, Robin, we're done. I, I, we're, we're, I, I swear, I swear... I Unbelievable scenes. Such... When did this game turn into Sassy Valley? This is unbelievable. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? Oh, all right, fine. I'm going to have to wait another day. I'm going to have to wait another day. What? We've already seen this cutscene. Why is it triggered twice? This is, this is why the game isn't public just yet. It's because this is a public beta. This is for bug testing. And I think, for some reason... This is the same cutscene we saw last time, isn't it? Alright, good. I, I can skip it though. Like, it's Linus, right? Yeah. This is the same cutscene we saw. How did Robin get back from there? Did she, she's a wizard. Did she use flu powder? What is this? I've had a great day foraging. Yeah, I know. I know. We've seen this one already, right? We saw this. We saw this one last time. So unfortunately, he doesn't live on our farm, which I was actually pretty gutted about at the time. But hey. Oh, all right. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to plop about, maybe do some bits, and then we'll just go tomorrow. Why not? Oh, right, let's try that again, shall we? On Sunday, no, Wednesday. So this this will actually be quite interesting, because if we go and do this, and then we leave the building again, is it going to trigger the cutscene again? <laughs> I don't know. I suppose we'll find out. I feel like maybe it's because, like, I closed the game and then reopened it. I don't know. Anyway, so here we go. What's that? You want to build Pama House? That's a great idea. I just need 950 wood and 500,000 gold. Do you know what's happened here? It's basically our entire beer harvesting is all going on Pam, which is ironic, really, because she does like a nice pale ale. All right, you know what? Three, two, one, boom. Oh, look at my money go. I've got 21k. That's so generous of you. I'll start working on the upgrade tomorrow. It should take around three days. Three days. Okay, fine. So we can't rush order. My rush orders are broken anyway <laughs> because the mod doesn't work right now. So even if we wanted to, we couldn't. And I wouldn't spend any more money than 500,000 on Pam. How much money have we earned? 2.5 million. So basically, I spent... A, 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 oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? So I spent 20% of all the money that I've ever earned in this game on Pam. I hope she's grateful. I think she will be. It might be quite nice, actually. I quite like Pam. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. There's just something that cracks me up about her. Okay, so three days I now have to wait. That's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, all right, so I guess we'll just wait and see. So I'll just... I'll go ahead and skip three days. Um... Let's go and see what happens. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> should, should we have a baby, James? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God. Are you kidding? Um. I, 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 I was just trying to build by my house. This. Yes. Yes. Did I. What? I don't have a kid now, do I? Oh, God. 
This is so much responsibility so quick. Um. I d I d Hello? Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> wasn't, expe wasn't expecting that. I didn't really... Okay. That's the thing now, apparently. All right, let me skip one more day. <laughs> so I think this should be... That took me a little bit by surprise. Oh, no, it's a horrible rubbish day. Oh, you know, I'm going to skip one more day because I don't think cutscenes trigger when it's, like, really rainy and horrible. Um, so I think I've done three days now. Well, technically, I've done four days. So, I mean... Okay, I, I wasn't, I caught me a little bit off guard, I'll be honest with you. Oh, okay, some of my blueberries are getting ready. Uh, oh! Oh, wow, different, different villagers write on different paper? That's so cool! So we saw, like, one last episode, which was just, like, a white piece of, like, you know, lined paper. But when the wizard writes to you, he writes on this crazy, like, spooky stuff. Okay. Greetings, young adept. I've enclosed in this package an item of our case significance. Use it wisely. M. the Rasmodius wizard. Okay, thanks, dude. Some random fire quartz. Okay. I meant... Oh, got another one. Okay. Oh, okay. Robin's giving me some wood. Thank you. Uh, see, she writes on normal paper, but the wizard writes on crazy paper. Ah, and then Sandy writes on this white stuff. And she's given us... Oh, Sandy keeps writing to us. I'm not sure why. Like, we're not even that good friends with her. She's giving me some Tomcat soup. Which is good news. Uh, okay, so I, I I don't know when the cutscene triggers. Um, should we just go into town and see? Might be a bit too early, but then again. Oh, there we go. Oh. Hey, James. So, what do you think? Wow, it's actually really nice. <laughs> I feel pretty good about it. In fact, it might be my finest work yet. Notice the round windows. Very difficult to bend the frame like that. Oh, and the intricate carvings on the door. Took me forever. Did you notice that? Oh, <laughs> they're like little beer bottles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess I'm rambling about wood again, huh? Anyway, I'm going to talk to them. But first, I have to ask. Do you want me to tell them you paid for this? Yes, of course. Or no, I'd rather remain anonymous. Oh, no. What do I pick? Oh, that's tough. That's so tough. I mean, we are like a ten heart friend with Pam, so we do know her quite well. I don't think there's any harm in her knowing that we paid for it. It might be a really nice gesture. But I don't want, like, Pierre taking credit for this house build, because that's what he's going to do. He's going to walk up and he's going to be like, Oh, ho, ho, I sold some extra seeds and I made you a house. And then I'll be like, hey, Pierre, stop stealing all my thunder, dude. And he's going to be like, oh, 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 he doesn't care, Pierre. Pierre does not care. And you know what? That's okay. He's, he's, he's got his own thing. He's got his own business. But you know what? I won because I married his daughter. So, ha, ha, ha. How'd you like them lemons, Pierre? Anyway, um, should we go? Yes, of course. Yeah, I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. What? I spent 500,000 gold on this. Are you kidding? Okay, let's go. Let's see what we can do. I mean, she's got to be happy, right? She no longer lives in the trailer. And she's got this lovely house. Hey there, neighbors. That's a nice new house you got there. Robin, uh, I don't know what to say. This is a dream come true. It's all I ever wanted. <laughs> oh, she's crying. Robin, thank you so much. Hey, don't thank me. It was James's idea, and he paid for the whole thing too. James... This is absolutely incredible. I, I don't know what else to say. Oh, this must have cost a fortune, James. <laughs> I'm sorry if my Pam voice is ruining the atmosphere a bit, but, you know, we, get, we have to be consistent. To be honest, this is kind of embarrassing. How could I ever repay for this? Uh, it's a gift. No repayment needed. You could start by treating Penny better. Oh, do we drop the sass bomb on, on Pam? Or oh, it's a gift. I'm going to look after Penny. I'm going to look after Penny. I'm going to look after Penny. I know it's harsh, but she... I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do whatever you say. The only reason why we're doing that is because we married Penny in our Stardew Valley Series 1. She's a lovely, lovely lady here in the valley. And we want to make sure she's okay. Mom. Don't worry, I understand why you get angry sometimes. Your life hasn't been so easy. Thanks, kid. From now on, we'll be like a real family, you hear? I don't want to be so bitter all the time anymore. I'm going to try to turn my life around. Ah, So cute. 
I think that was a good choice. I think that was a good choice, right? I hope so. There we go. We built back my house. And we also made her treat Penny better. I wonder if she's still going to charge me to go to the Calico Desert. Probably. Probably. But hey. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's... Um, Go and have a little look. Wow, it's a, it's a really nice house. It's locked. I paid 500,000 gold for this house and they didn't even give me a key. Unbelievable scenes. Okay, so Pam has left. She is off the screen as of right now. It means I want to go and poke around in a house. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, this house looks great, man. Are you kidding? Really nice. Okay, so this is, uh, I guess, one of the bedrooms. I don't know whose this is. It might be Penny's or it might be Pam's. Uh, we've got another bedroom here. I guess this one would be Penny's. And then the double bed would probably be Pam's. Uh, yeah, teacher's guidebook. So Penny is like a teacher, isn't she? So that kind of makes sense. Uh, it's really nice. I like it. Not quite as nice as my house, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's it's, it's up there. It's, it's, a nice, it's a nice place. Look at this, man. Cool. So I don't think there's anything we can, like, particularly do in here. I don't think there's anything we can steal or anything, but... Um, they don't have a fridge. Why do they not have a fridge? Very strange. Okay, cool. Well, look at that. We have, um, so I don't know, like, what that does. I mean, I wonder, the, the problem is, is we already have, like, ten hearts with Pam. We have for ages. I wonder if, like, doing this for her is, like, an instant ten hearts. That would kind of make sense if it was, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so, some things seem a little bit different, like, with the houses. I could be wrong. I don't remember seeing that there. And this dog sign is glitched out. Do you see it? It's in like half a sign. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it, it is still like a beta test. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Uh, well, there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be about it for today's episode here on Stardew Valley. <laughs> Bit of a strange one, isn't it? But, you know, it's pretty cool. We built Pat my house uh, for all our money in the world. So, I hope she's happy. And we made Penny quite happy as well. And, and yeah, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. We've got a few blueberries which are coming through. But I'm just going to make those into preserves anyway. So, ooh. And I got my first crop of melons. Yeah. Awesome sauce. Well, anyway, that's going to be about it for today. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Stardew Valley done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rancy up.